What's up guys, today is Taylor's Tuesday, back again, this is the third part, the third video. I don't know why it's duplicate, so yeah, but we're, we're tier listing the Spider-Man movies, all live action, two animated, going from trash to bottom to bottom, the mid, then average, then amazing, then spectacular, put that in myself. Alright, let's get into it, I'm excited. Whew, okay, we have, first we have Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2002. I love this movie so much, man. It's amazing. I prefer the Spider-Man 2, to be honest. I haven't seen Spider-Man 2 in ages. Is it spectacular? Yeah, it, it kind of is. It started the whole genre. It's amazing. That flash uh, fight scene, the, the the locker in the school, um, the Green Goblin fights, like the suit getting proper damage and rip. I need to bring that back. Oh, the stakes. MJ was... She wasn't annoying in this one. She was really annoying in three. But yeah, next we have Spider-Man 2. I don't remember it much. It's not trash. It's not mid. It's not amazing. I'm going to put an average because I haven't seen it in ages. So I don't remember much. I just remember the train fight. That's it. And people overhyped that. It's it's all right. I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments. But I never grew up with Toby. I grew up with Andrew in it and Tom. So no, there's no connection with Toby there. Spider-Man 3, bro. I don't care. Spider-Man 3 is the best of the trilogy. It's really good. The Black Suit, Sandman, Gwen Stacy, New Goblin. What are you telling me? Um, who else is in there? Um, there's three villains. Venom. It wasn't that bad. I like the kind of look of it. And that final fight scene was sad. The the CGI, the Bully Maguire. It's just amazing. Like, I don't think you should really hate on Spider-Man 3 that much because it's not. There's nothing wrong with it. I I love it. Amazing Spider-Man. <sighs> <laughs> that suit is glorious. I love that suit. The music, the piano keys. Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man. Do not care. Comment me in the comments. It's not Toby. It's not Tom. It's Andrew Garfield. He has the best suit. Can I just say, yeah? Andrew has the best thing out of all of them. Andrew has the best suit. He has the best music. Da 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 da. That's that's amazing. Uh, he has the best love story. Not love story. He's the best uh, romance. He has the best swinging scenes. He has the best visual effects. Um, he has the best art in like, in like, not like looks, but like what the comics like, like what the what art made does the comics justice to. Like um, Sally Field is great. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff. Um, the best high school drama because we're not really in high school that much in the, in the first Spider movie. We're more in it in the first Tasm. And this is amazing, the, the soundtrack's fire. Tazan 2 is just fire. They, they might as well all go in spectacular. I love Tazan 2 though. Tazan 2, why is it not? Tazan 2 is just fire, man. I don't care. It's, it's, one, it's, the, top, it's the top three Spider-Man movie of all time. Like, it's just amazing. The, the visuals, the da da da. Oh, gosh. The, the rhino scene. The, the beginning part of the parents. It's just a perfect movie for me. I don't care. There's nothing wrong with it. Electro was fire. Green Goblin I actually did like. The Gwen Stacy death scenes. So, sorry for spoilers, but you probably should have known that. It is sad, but we need a Tasm 3. Also, they're making a Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire. I don't want that. I want Tasm 3. It's annoying. Homecoming is trash. I swear, Homecoming is dead. I, I hate Homecoming. I hate Homecoming so much. People say that's the best of Thomas Trilogy. No, it's not. It's the worst. The swinging scenes are dead. Who wants to see Spider-Man swinging with his phone? No one wants to. The the shocker scene, shocker was wasted. It wasn't even comic um, comic accurate. Vulture was cool. The boat scene was cool. Bit too much Iron Man. It's just dead. It's just not great. We have Venom. I enjoy Venom on the rewatch. I really enjoy Venom. It's 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 not average. So I'm gonna put it in amazing. I really enjoy Venom. Venom is an incredible movie. The the CGI, Tom Hardy fits the role. I like Michelle Williams in this. Um, yeah, the the bond between Eddie Brock and Venom the symbiote is really good, and it sets up the sequel. Venom let it be conned really well with um, Cletus Cassidy as Carnage, and I I just really, I just really enjoyed this movie. People call it people call it generic. It's not generic. It's it's his own nice original, fresh standalone film. Don't get me started into Spider Verse. Okay, it's better than the first Toby movie, and it's better than Spider-Man 3, and it's better than Tasm. I don't know if it's better than Tasm 2. It is, yeah, it is. The f I've watched this seven times, and it just gets better. Like, like the, hey, and then, you ever heard of the shoulder touch? 
Kingpin is funny in this. The, the animation is amazing. Prowler, Green Goblin, uh, what, Tombstone, um, the, uh, Doctor Octopus in the form of a woman, the, the Spider Verse, the Spider Characters, Spider Man Noir, Penny Parker, Spider Ham. Uh, there's one more. Spider Gwen, Pete B. Parker, Miles Morales. It's just amazing. That sets up the sequel as well, really good with Spider Man 2099. Far from home. I, I have a I have a soft spot for this one. It's the first Spider-Man movie I saw in its cinemas, so I do have a soft spot for it. I prefer it than Venom. It's not it's not spectacular, it's amazing. Uh is it gonna wait, hold on. Yeah, I love Far From Home. It's really good. From average above I love um these movies because Far From Home is just amazing. I don't get the hate. It's pretty it's, it's better than Homecoming, obviously, as I said. But the stealth suit, the fingerless gloves. The Molten Man, Hydro Man, Mysterio, that twist. We all saw it coming. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it was really good. Speaking of the twist, that twist with Lizard's dad, eh, I feel like I kind of saw it coming, to be honest. Uh, and we're far from home, the visuals. Could have done with a better poster, but the end credit scene is so good. And it obviously sets up the sequel. They all do that. Venom, let them be carnage. Whew. Whew. This is fire. This is fire. It's not better. Than, it, it's fire. It, even though it is there, it, it's fire, mate. Co Bruh. Don't get me started on the Carnage's design, man. It is spectacular. The movie isn't, but it's amazing. Like, and it sets up the kind of Venom, Venom 3. We've got in set photos of Venom 3. I cannot wait. I'm really excited. Ven Venom 2 is just, oh, the visuals, man. I just kind of wish we got a bit more Carnage. No way home speak. No, I don't, I, I think No Way Home should be at the top of people's. That theater experience, man, it's the best theater experience I've ever had. When Andrew came through at my, I was starstruck. I just, I screamed, I screamed, I screamed. I was like, rah, rah, rah. Oh, it was the best feeling ever. When Toby came through, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 the finger points, the, the action, Aunt May's death. The Multiverse of Madness uh, set up, which I still haven't seen that movie, but I know what happens. Uh, it's just a life-changing movie, and I just appreciate it, and I cannot wait for Spider-Man 4. This is my favourite character for live-action, and I just love how only one movie is bad, but the rest are really good. It's Spider-Man 2, I don't know, but... Uh, my no Way Home is amazing. Across the spot. Uh, let me leave this later. We've got Morbius. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not amazing. I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I'm gonna get a lot of hate. More base is not bad. I love the visual effects. The cringes is funny. Jared O's acting was pretty good. And Matt Smith as well. I love that. I love their, like, the brotherly dynamic. Like, it reminds me of um, Optimus Prime and Megatron, and you know how they were friends to start with on Cybertron, and then they became sworn enemies. Kind of like with this movie. The visual effects were really good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when he's flying through the tunnel in the subway. Vulture, that 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 post credit scene was kind of cool. Like we should set up a team, obviously with Venom, probably, uh, obviously Morbius, Vulture, uh, Scorpion, which we saw in Homecoming, um, Craven the Hunter, and I don't know the other one. Yeah, but uh, Morbius isn't that bad. I'm gonna I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of slander in the comments because of Spider Man Two. I just haven't seen Spider Man Two in over what four years, so I don't really know what happens. So, to be fair, I probably, I probably shouldn't even add it in this ranking. But last but not least, ah, Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse is way better. It's, it's perfect, man. The music, bruh, but I always go over this, my friends. You know the part where Gwen is playing the drums, like, it's, it's amazing. And the music, that, it's, it's amazing. I wouldn't go crazy, but. Oh, it's the, the visuals, Spider-Man India was sick, Spider-Punk was sick, Spot was sick, Spider-Man 2099 was ripped. Bruh, everybody keeps telling me how my story is fucked. Bruh, that gives me chills every single time, man. I saw this twice in cinemas. It just got, it's just amazing. And I cannot wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. I think it's 2026 coming out. So yeah, so, dead last year of Spider-Man Homecoming, dumpster fire movie, hate it. It's one, it's one of the worst MCU movies. Then we have Spider-Man 2, haven't seen it, so comment, uh, comment on it. Morbius, not that bad, very average. Then we have Venom, really good. Venom 2 is banger. Spider-Man 5 from Home, woo -hoo -hoo. Damn, it was really good, and I love happy in this. 
And the Iron Spider suit gets so much hate, it's really good. Then we have the first Tobey Maguire movie, really solid. I love the, the rawness of the suit. We get the suit that was where um, Green Goblin is punching him, ripping the suit, the bomb, and then Green Goblin is death in the end. Spider Man 3, best of the trilogy, it's amazing. The black suit, Harry, Harry Osborn is just, oh. Then we have, no, not in that way. Uh, and then we have uh, the main Spider Man, oh ho ho, the visuals. I love the grey setting. I love the, the, I like how they try to go for a more gritty, grounded, like dark night tone. Uh, Tasm 2 is amazing, the suit is incredible, the, the music, Gwen Stacy, that third act, oh. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse is amazing, the animation, Kingpin, I'm not scared of the dark, and, and obviously Sunflower, come on, come on, Post Malone made that banger of a song. Then we have No Way Home, amazing spectacle, Post could have been a, better, but a bit better, CGI was a bit ugly, but come on, you, you, like, I do understand that the movie does drag at the start, it's not really good of a movie at the start. But once you know what's gonna happen at the end, you know what's gonna happen, I'm like, oh, ho, ho. Then, of course, Spider-Man is perfect, nothing wrong with it. Pacing was a little bit slow, but we move in it. And yeah, that was my ranking, my little quick video of ranking all the Spider-Man movies, live action and um, animated. Tell me in the comments if you agree or disagree, and I'll see you in the next one. Next week, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out. But yeah, see you in the next one. Peace out, my bros.